Well, that was short lived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All All right. is just not not doing well this year. Live and learn. Well, <laughs> it won't happen again next year. We'll definitely uh, be more aware of everything that's going on. This is a little too high ele elevation for me to stay in. So we're going to head down just a little bit and get out of this elevation here in Williams. We had plans to stay here a little bit longer, but it just uh, didn't work out that way. So Time so, to move on anyways. <laughs> Uh, Jen and Mike, Mike, Mike are back at the camp, and I think they're gonna meet us wherever we are at some point. So, all right, you'll see where we go when we see where we go. had a comment about how these uh, turbines and I, I do know that they're turbines guys a um, couple comments one was they're not fans <laughs> I know they're turbines there's a personal joke about that and so I just call them fans uh, and then uh, somebody was talking about how um, these turbines when they break down and they're no longer in use how they're just being piled places which yeah it is true um, although them and I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with them but I didn't read the whole article but it I it sparked my interest when one of our commenters said something about uh, them just piling up you know in places and pretty soon we're just gonna keep you know we're just gonna see piles of these fans everywhere but uh, there is a couple articles out there about how they are recycling those uh, blade parts and then the other components are uh, not, I get maybe not everything, but a lot of it is being recycled because it's, it's uh, steel. Is that right? I thought it was a composite. Uh, the composite? I don't know. Uh, what they're, I, th I thought they were composite. That well, didn't look like metal. That looked like a composite. I don't know what the, the Well, are. the fan is. Right. The, uh, the blade part uh, is, they can shred those now, I guess. Yeah. I, they're I, fiberglass is what they are. We should be able to make insulation out of that. They're fiberglass. So there's two companies, GE and another company, I guess, are uh, doing stuff with them. But anyways, if you're interested, just look up uh, what happens to the turbines when they no longer work. And there's lots of articles. I, I just kind of skimmed over. I thought it was very interesting. And it's a shame that they're, you know, if they're going to be piling them up, that's certainly not good for... Our, ecosystem but it's might be an interesting read for you anyways we're gonna go down here we're gonna dump uh, Mavericks has a free dump then we'll go up to we gotta get water yeah, we're gonna get fuel it looks like oh it's yeah going down a few so dollars get, a oh yeah <laughs> not a few dollars a few pennies I wish it was a few dollars a dollar would do yeah. all right so we're gonna we're gonna dump get fuel uh, then we got to go up to Love's. Is Love's where we're going to get propane? We do need to get propane. It was 33 degrees this morning, so it was a little chilly. Um, I think we're going to go into flag, so I'll probably wait to get propane. Okay. Flag. All right. Well, there's a few few RVs in there. Twin Arrows. Navajo Casino Resort. RV parking is uh, this away. That's self parking and something else. I don't know what else. This is where we have always parked before was RV park. Yeah, it says RV parking. So it's uh they Traveling. are yeah they are rolling in 
just since we uh, got our spot here, we've uh, watched four other rigs roll in. We did not even think about it. Punky. <laughs> She's so boisterous. Let's go outside check it out. <clears throat> we didn't even think about it, but it's Thursday evening. And people are coming in. Oh, I didn't even see that. Trying to get a spot. They only have a small little area here for RVs. I mean, you can pack a lot in because there's, you know. Oh, is he going to bump his car? Oh. Wow. Big Greg, pretty. I didn't think about the turn there. Is, a t is that a Tiffin? I don't know. It's a oh, yeah. yeah. Those That's Tiffins are pretty. I love that color. The solitude coming in. Oh, somebody is just. They were just pointing right here. <laughs> Maybe they usually park here, but you can park in the strips here Over there that one over there. We were gonna park on that uh, Side over there, but anyways, there's let's see. There's the middle section left and then one two there one in front of us So one two three Oh two <laughs> and our slides well that other guy back there has two slides on each side so I didn't even it. think about being right on the corner well they're gonna fill up and it is what it is it's exciting I know if we wake up and all of a sudden it'll be like shaking shaking yeah out front here is that fire and I I, I want to say maybe towards Sedona area it's big you can see the smoke goes all the way down. When I looked at the map, it looked sort of like in Sedona area. Now, if you know where exactly that is from the casino, tell me. We have people that have better direction than I do. Um, if you came here and there wasn't any spots down here in the RV section, I'm assuming maybe you could park where the trucks park. You might want to ask, though. So... And I don't know if you have to have a Players Club card here or not. We do have one. So, I don't know. Somebody liked your shirt. Jen this guy, is becoming Jen. one of my favorite shirts. It's beautiful. <laughs> Jen, Jen and Jason from we, uh, Dreamweaver. She gave this to Scotty. Yep. Now, she didn't design this one, but she just she liked it and gave it to Scotty. I love, yeah. I love them. Yeah, I love them. I, I think she there's... somehow knows my size and <laughs> and, and, and the cloth I like. I, She's I, been I, around I, you a while. I guess so. Uh, this color, I love it with his blue eyes, though. Hey, does it show my muscle? Your muscle? <laughs> it's not a muscle shirt, then. Dang it. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, I think we're probably going to finish our cocktails, and then do you want to go up and play just a little? Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. We might go do that. We'll see. The thing about uh, altitude sickness is, man, when you get down a little lower, boom, it's <laughs> you feel so much better. I'm still at a little high altitude, so you still got the labored breathing, but it's still no more headache. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah. He's going to go right in that one slip there. Center one. And then disconnect. Oh, so, oh yeah, so there's quite a few. I didn't think about being able to pull straight through. I would say over here that it's big enough. I don't yeah, know. I don't, that's why I didn't think that. Right. It seems like he would be hanging out of the slip over there. That's a big fit, but he's going to, who knows? They got to figure it out. Yeah. It's probably bigger than it looks. Well, you can take the truck off, obviously, right. but. The, the, the thing is, though. If you if something parks here in the middle along here, yeah, that's as long as us. For other people to make the well, I guess you just have to go down and around. Right. Uh, we lucked out. We did. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to tell you guys. So first, we were we were parked up here on this little uh, side one, and then we pulled over here where this was this rig over here is, and then they and they parked here, and then they moved over there, and we moved over here. Yeah. So <laughs> we were where the red one was. Yeah. But I like this much. It was an RV um musical yeah. uh spots. And we had stayed right over there, honestly. That's where we stayed several days all the way at the corner with the Oh yeah, camper. okay. So yeah. you guys might remember because I think uh I did a video on it. We stayed right over in the corner. Yeah. Camper Van Kevin was right in this section, and then Sal and Sharon were here. And wasn't Carolyn here? And Oz was here. Uh, 
Did we meet up with them here? I I'm think not we all sure. Ended up here. Yeah. And then we went to. Uh, I just remember uh, Camper Van Kevin and Sal and Sharon and. Aj. I don't remember Carolyn and Aja being yeah, here. Because we went from here and we went up to uh, Cinders. Oh, that's remember? right. Yep. Yep. That's been a while, you guys, but I, I do always remember that. All right. Let's have our cocktails and then let's go up and win some money. All Big right. money. Sounds fun. Open that road. is exactly what we it's did. Open road. Oh, it is. <laughs> He's doing. They're doing exactly what you and I did. <laughs> Get in here, and it's like musical parking lot. <laughs> he went over there with his buddy, the Solitude, and then I think he realized it just was too out of whack. <laughs> and now his front's going downhill. But if he does go for it, yeah, that's a good spot. This is entertainment when you are parked in a parking lot. You just watch everybody park. You know what they me. watched us. <laughs> I know. You know. Absolutely. And it reminds me why I miss the dang uh, going to the parks. Because you get, you grab your chair, you have a soda, oh, yeah. and, and you watch the everybody camp. come in. You mean and the hook, campground? Yeah. Hook up and everything. How about when we lived on a boat? <laughs> Our, that was funny. our Saturday uh, event was that we would grab our lawn chairs and we'd sit on our dock. We had a dock because we had a uh, boat rental business that we yeah. owned. And we'd grab our chairs. Friday and we night would, and Saturday. We yeah. would watch people launch their boats. Yeah. Sometimes they launched great and it was a 10. And other times it was in the brink and it was a zero. <laughs> Thumbs and it was up. always the ones at midnight coming in. Yeah. <laughs> but remember, our friends would all come down, and and we'd sit around the dock <laughs> no. on Friday and have cocktails so right? in the summertime. Yeah, because it was the best of times. Living on yeah. the boat mm -hmm. is just a totally different breed of people, man. Everybody is happy. Ev I mean, it's just so different. Unless it's it's like talk. out here. It's like out here. Everybody's just kind of happy, you know. Well, and when you lived on a boat, half the time, if you were had a neighbor. He was a four foot step up yeah. your boat and up his boat. So yeah. sometimes you that just was open fun. up your window and yeah, say, yeah, Hey, yeah. <laughs> we let had the a, heat come over this yeah. way. We had a lot of good friends down there yeah. when we lived there. And we still have a lot of friends that are down there. Boy, that's been 40 years, you know, almost. <laughs> 40, yes. Yeah. Yeah, our oldest is Dang. almost 40. Back in the day. Woo. Yeah. All Maybe right. that's what we have to do. Maybe we need to do a boat thing next. Go live on a Se boat? Season eight. Live on a boat? Sell this and go live on a boat? I would do that. I already told you I'd do that. I already told and you I would I would sell everything and go live on a boat again. In Hawaii? No. I don't want to be in the ocean. <laughs> oh. No. No, Lake I don't Michigan? want Michigan? But then it gets colder than yeah, we can't Yeah, we have to go somewhere where we can... I don't care if we're on the coast. I don't care if we're in the ocean, but we could snug the coast, you know, if we were out running around. You just sit right there. The thing is, okay, the peninsula, so we thought about this, you guys. We thought about uh, living aboard again and doing a boat in the Puget Sound. The problem with that, once you've done the Puget Sound for, you know, 50, 40, 40 years. Yeah. It's, you, it gets very... Um, there's lots of coves. There yeah. is. There's tons. But, yeah, it gets a little... You've seen it. You, you haven't seen sucks. it. I'm not going to say you've seen it all because you can't. There's no way. But it's, you know. Wintertime has its great fishing and fun. Yeah. But then it gets nasty. I would summertime's do, the best. I would but. do, like, a marina down towards the end uh, between uh, Oregon and... Uh, California. I would that. Do that gets nasty. That's that's where well, that's where the nasty things are. San Diego. Oh, okay. You uh, want to do San Diego? No, I want to go to. Jim, you guys, that's the second home. time that he has said San Diego this week. He never talks about San Diego. Oh no, I don't want to go to San Diego, and I don't want to go to Florida now anymore. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I'm... <laughs> Maybe up in the little. Maybe See Canada. You. Should we go to Canada? No, it's cold. Um, I don't know. See you, Cortez. Oh. I don't even know how we just got on this subject, but we've been on this Because I think I'm tired of Arizona. <laughs> I'm tired of Arizona, too. The <laughs> diesel prices need to go down. <laughs> it didn't go down. It looked like it went down 25 cents. Okay. Since we 
bought it last. Yeah, let's just hope it goes down more. I have a feeling it's going to go up with all the sad things going on. So do you on. live in the desert or do you live in a boat? Ain't much to eat mm. in the desert. A lot to eat in the Pacific What do you guys Ocean. think? It's yeah. just it's just a hypothetical. It is not. We're not doing it tomorrow, guys. But what do you think? Should we someday try to maybe go back live on a boat? It's such good fun times. We would definitely have a bigger boat than we lived on before. How big was Lucky Lady? 30. Yeah. We would have to have a little bit bigger than 30. <laughs> well, it's funny because when we started looking for a boat, remember, we're like, okay, this is going to be our plan. We're going to live on a boat. And be live, this live was before peninsula. this was before we decided to buy a um, before we decide before we got um, freedom and oh. before we decided to go on the road. We had actually thought sell the house and let's buy a boat and go travel on the boat. And we started out on what size? Uh, we started out at a thirty six <laughs> trolley. Yeah, trolley craft. Uh huh. And then we ended up into the yachts. We were, all of a sudden it was like. 55. Four? No, we never 56. went that 56. I did. No. I did. I was looking at 56s. Yeah. And I was like, wow, <laughs> for every foot, it's amazing what you gain. But at the same uh, time, all of a sudden I was going to have a ship and it was like. Yeah. <laughs> and Scotty certainly could handle that. But uh, yeah. When I was a kid. Oh, you could still handle it. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Give me twins and Scotty's I got Scotty's a good, uh, good pilot. A boat pilot. He's very good at it. All right. All right. So you guys tell us, what do you guys think? Would you still watch us if we went and lived on a boat and took you guys boating for a couple of years? Hmm. And where would we go boating? Yeah. Where would you guys want to go boating? Hmm. You know, we're just one big family, so and where would we go? Am I setting myself up? Sailboat <laughs> or powerboat? No, I do not want a sailboat. Nope. I don't want a sailboat. I... <laughs> no, I don't people. want I a sailboat. <laughs> I wonder if they make like a 40 footer and I could have a jetivator off the back of my face. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you could, boat? maybe you could have a skip <laughs> with the jetivator. <laughs> maybe we should just get a boat and live on Lake Havasu for a year in the coves. I don't know if you could do that. Nobody will know. That would not be bad. <laughs> I've never seen big boats on that lake though. Exactly. I don't know if you they could. wouldn't know. I don't think you we could. could. We could. They we do. Could actually, it. they do have a marina there, Scott. I know. This could be a thing. But we would have to get rid of our, our home no, again. We could store it somewhere. You got money in your pocket and didn't tell me? <laughs> no, I got lint in my pocket and sand in my shoes. I'm going to tell you that much. I'm needing a damn good shower. Oh, you've had a shower. Don't make these people think that you don't shower. I forgot. You already made them think that once. All right, guys, we're going to go up to the casino and win a million so I can buy him a boat. Let's go. And fix Aja's rug. Oh, yeah. I thought before it looked like... Okay, I'm pretty sure things. I cannot film in here in the casino area over there. But look at this, you guys. Look at how beautiful that is. So pretty. All right, that's the hotel lobby, and they got the restaurant and then the casino, so I'm pretty sure I can't uh, film in there. There's some really neat art here. Lights going on. We didn't win any big jackpots, but we won a couple little tiny hands and had fun in there. We're going to go down and have some dinner now. That was a lot of fun. I saw something that you did, and that's why I was down here laughing, so I started cracking up, and Scott's like... Uh-oh, what did I do? I ran out of um, 
<laughs> I ran out of paper towels. I came down. Look what Scott did. He hung toilet paper up there. <laughs> Oh my god. I can spare a square. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, anything to make me happy he does. Oh. That's so funny. Thank you, honey. I'm so funny. <laughs>